Either this wall is going to look amazing and totally elevate the apartment, or it's gonna be totally ridiculous. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog. It is just about eight o'clock in the morning. I've been up since five. I've worked out, showered. Theo tried to jump in the shower too. Made a nice hot pot of coffee, sat down and got some emails done. And now I'm waiting for the contractors to arrive because in this episode, I'm constructing a wall in my loft. Now, before you watch this video, I highly recommend going back and watching my previous vlog where I give an empty tour of this new Soho loft that I'm living in. And I go through the reasons exactly why I'm looking to build this wall. So I'll cut to that clip right now. This is where I'm actually going to be building a wall. So from this point here, directly across the whole apartment to right about here, I'm going to make a wall. So this wall is going to be half glass with black factory windows. And then right here, there's gonna be a sliding glass barn door. Like I was saying, the loft up there, I don't wanna wake up and smack my head. So I'm gonna have a proper bedroom. So with those glass factory windows, you'll still be able to see into the bedroom. And I plan on putting a curtain rod or something just so you know when I need privacy, I can have it. But I really want this light to continue just filling up the space. So the factory windows are really the way to do that. I really don't know what to expect. In my mind, it looks good, but I've had my fair share of ideas in my life where I'm like, yeah, in my mind, that, that's awesome. And then when it comes to the execution, it's not so awesome. But hopefully this works out. I'm pumped. They say it's gonna take one to two days, so this might be a two-day vlog depending on how long it is. So if you're new here and you want to see New York City content, make sure to subscribe. And with that, the contractor should be here in the next few minutes. I don't know how much of this I can document, but I'll film as much as possible. There's a lot going on today, but first, let's say good morning to the one and only. And what would a vlog be without the cutest golden retriever in all of New York City? Good morning, Theo. He's not into it this morning with his little French fry. You go back to sleep, we're gonna go build this wall. The contractors just arrived at the apartment and they have the 10 foot ladder here for the job because the ceilings in this apartment are 15 feet high and the guys told me this is their biggest job yet as far as wall construction in a New York City apartment. It's gonna be a steel framed wall with wooden two by four studs. And again, this is just a pressure wall. This wall will be taken down when I do move out of this apartment in one to two years. Theo is officially taken on the role of project manager for this wall build. <laughs> and he is so excited to say the least. Look at this dog. A few more guys just showed up to work on the job, but I have to say, the precision of this job is 10 out of 10. While planning all this out, I sent over some rough measurements before for that rendering that they made, but they are doing all the cutting on site here in the apartment. Quick little update, the black factory windows have just been installed and it looks freaking amazing. I am so relieved that it looks good in the space. It looks almost like a foreman's office that you'd find in a warehouse with the windows so you can see in, but it is totally transforming the space in a good way, I think. I mean, it's not done yet, but. And of course, Theo is still supervising every step of this job. He was so excited, I actually had to take him outside to play a little go fetch just to let out some of that energy. That's why he's panting like he just ran a marathon. He had a bit too much energy, and I wanted the guys to have their space to work, so I took him out. I mentioned how fast these guys are. They are absolutely crushing this build. The final factory window, the fifth window, is just being installed right now. And I was recommended this company by a buddy of mine, Brett Conti. They built a wall in his apartment. And the name of this company is called One Day Wall. But for this one, they said it may take two days just because, like I mentioned, they told me that this is their biggest project yet. This is quite the undertaking. Those glass panes are probably 100 pounds, give or take. That's a hefty project, but these guys, man, I'm so happy it looks good because there was that moment where I'm like, okay, I saw the vision in my mind, I had the sketches, I had the rendering, but how will it actually look in the space? And I have to say, it is coming along better than I had planned. Since you've been such a good boy, you've earned yourself a nice grooming spa day at Pup Culture. Bye, Theo. See, look, he, he loves going down there. 
he will actually enjoy himself. It usually takes two to three hours just because he is such a fluffy, fluffy big dog. And I know the guys building the wall will definitely appreciate him not being there. As cute as he is and as much as everyone loves him, sometimes he does get in the way. So the plan was while Theo was getting all nice and pampered at his little spa grooming day, I was gonna come back to the apartment and build out this bed frame. I got this bed frame from CB2. This is for the guest bedroom. This is a queen size bed frame. The only thing, I'm taking a look at the instructions here and it says I need a Phillips head screwdriver, which I, I thought I had one. It also has the exclamation with the emoji of two people required to assemble this bed frame. So I'm gonna have to get that Phillips head and most likely wait till my brother comes up. I know he has a ton of tools and assemble this bed frame. But the wall, they are so fast. Take a little look. This is a sneak peek. The wall is pretty much, they said they'd be here till like 7 p.m. and then have to come back tomorrow morning for the finishes, but wow. No. <laughs> there you are. Look at you. <gasps> Look at you. So clean. Beautiful. Grooming is done, but it's raining, so we're not going to take him to the park. Just so you don't get all muddy. Come on, Theo. Look at you. Like a million dollars. Look how excited he is. Look at this tail. Look at this fluff. Just got back to the apartment. It is pouring rain, so Theo's whole spa day kind of was a flop. So these guys got here at 9 a.m. It is just about 7 p.m. As you can see, the apartment looks like a completely new space. I think it looks freaking awesome. This is a look in the actual bedroom, and when they are completed, I'm gonna hang a curtain rod here and have nice white drapes hanging down, so when I do want the privacy, it's there, but I mean, this looks so cool. I was going for that factory look, and these guys hit the nail right on the head by the tongue out and the smile, I assume you're a happy boy with the work done. Apartment hunting is never easy and I'm so thankful that I found this place. It took me a solid four weeks of looking before I found this home. 2021 is almost halfway over, which means it's basically summer. During the summer months, I'm always taking my car off-road to the beach, up into the mountains. To put it bluntly, I'm pretty damn rough on my car. And that's why it's important to know if I'm overpaying on my auto insurance. I'd like to thank Policy Genius, the sponsor of this video, for making it super easy to compare home and auto insurance in one place. They've saved shoppers up to $1,055 per year over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. Getting started is super easy. First, head to policygenius.com slash E-R-I-K and answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. After that, it's simple. Policy Genius will take it from there. They'll compare rates from all of America's top insurance providers from Allstate to Progressive. And if they find a better rate than what you're paying now, they will switch you over for free. When it comes to insurance, it's always nice to get it right. So head over to policygenius.com slash Eric. That's policygenius.com slash E-R-I-K. IK. So the guys just arrived and they're mixing up the spackle now, really just doing those final touches, like I said, sanding down that spackle from last night, getting any little nooks and crannies that they may have missed from yesterday. Now, as far as paint, we're staying with that bright white matching the rest of the apartment, really to make those black factory windows pop and have it just have that modern industrial feeling. It looks like a whole new space. I am so fired up on this and I'm so happy that it's turning out the way it is. They're just now putting on the sliding glass barn door, and I was a bit hesitant because this sliding glass barn door is probably a good foot lower than the bathroom door, but that's because the bathroom door, I mean, check this out just for some comparison. The bathroom door is probably seven and a half feet high. I can put my arm straight over my head here and touch the top. This is not a normal door height. And the bedroom door height is just about six foot eight. So it looks a little smaller than the bathroom one, but you know, that's not that big of a deal just because it had to fit the sliding barn door, which I mean, just, this is so cool. The aesthetic of this, the vibe of this loft. Gio and his team just finished up. And again, if you do live in New York City and you're looking to make your apartment into a flex, a one bedroom, number one, get permission from the building or the super. But number two, if you're looking for someone, one day wall. I am just beyond impressed at number one, how fast they were. But number two, how precise and the attention to detail. Traditionally, if you have speed, you're compromising precision and details, but these guys knocked it out of the park especially for a wall that's gonna come down in probably a year, maybe two years. So now I'm gonna clean the floors. I'm gonna put these couches back into place. Just wait to see this next clip. Here it is. This is the final reveal of the wall. And like I said, I am so stoked at how this turned out, but I wanted to get a shot with me in the frame just so you could see the perspective of what this place looks like with someone in the shot. I mean, I'm still blown away. One, like I said, at how fast, but two, 
just at how good this looks. It definitely, in my opinion, elevated the space and you can see in these shots, we've lost the light right now, but I got some B-roll when it was golden hour and that light was coming through. I love the open concept of this place, but I definitely thought there had to be some kind of division between different rooms. And the idea behind this glass wall was to keep all that sunlight and not have this side turn into almost a cave. But let's check this out. Through the sliding glass barn door, this is now the primary bedroom in this loft. And like I was mentioning, it's so rare to find a space that's a rental where you have full rain. When I walked in here, they actually had a line taped right across the floor, giving a sort of dimensions of where they wanted to put a wall in. They told me, they're like, hey, you can make this into a one bedroom. And now technically it's a two bedroom because you have this down here. And then you also have the, I mean, I guess it's kind of a bedroom with the low ceiling in the loft area. Originally, I was gonna have these panels at the floor level and it wasn't until the last minute my mom was actually in the city and she's like, Eric, that would look so weird having these on the floor. Rather, have them at the same height as the radiator just so they blend in and they really give you that grand feeling just because the ceilings are so high. And also, I think it's so unique that you can be in the bedroom and see into the living room. I mean, some people might not like that. They might want the privacy. Comment down below if you think I should actually hang a curtain rod up here so I can have curtains just in case I need that privacy. This room is definitely a interesting layout, but it is deceivingly large. So this is actually a king size mattress just for some perspective of the size of this space. And then off in the corner here, this is a six and a half foot long desk. So there is plenty of room. I think it's pretty safe to say that it definitely elevates the space. It gives that kind of industrial feeling that I was looking for. Now that I'm happy with how this looks, if we walk this way for a sec, I do have a few more projects. I'm actually gonna be painting the wooden panels black to match the factory windows. Also comment down below if you have any other decor ideas or design. There was actually a ton of good ideas in the comments of the last video. So let me know down below. I hope that you are well watching this. And with that, I will see you in the next episode of this Soho Loft renovation series. Not sure what to call this, but it's definitely turning into a series. I will see you in the next video.